let's go to South Vietnam with the Chinooks and see how theory makes out in practice. We're with the 1st Cavalry Division at An Ke, and these scenes depict a pair of helicopters taking off on a routine mission to deliver supplies at an advance base. More often than not, the landing site will be merely a jungle clearing with danger on all sides. Note that natural vegetation has been retained to the maximum degree to preserve soil coverage. Nevertheless, at times, the area presents heavy dust during takeoffs and landings. Up ahead, a landing zone is being established in the vicinity of Play Coup. Native laborers and U.S. troops are constructing the helicopter pad by hand until more equipment can be flown in. Radar makes for stark contrast in this ancient land. Continuous landings of this type are equivalent to operating in a severe dust storm. But the helicopter's engines, rotors, and other vital components are designed to operate in this environment. During the rainy season, this dusty landing zone becomes a sea of mud. But it doesn't stop the helicopters from flying. Now that we've seen the conditions under which helicopters of the 1st Cavalry Division must operate, let's take a look at some of the missions as they are flown in Vietnam. This Chinook is transporting a complete rifle platoon with combat gear. rugged highlands of South Vietnam. Few, if any, roads, just trails, ripe for ambush. These are American soldiers. Seats are provided for 33 men. The rest sit on the floor. Since the Vietnamese soldier is smaller, the Chinook carries 58 of these troops. The cabin's capacity is better illustrated by a recent evacuation of a South Vietnamese village. 107 men, women and children were counted disembarking from a single helicopter. Transporting a vital load of fuel high above enemy small arms fire. There are more than 400 helicopters of various types in the 1st Cavalry's inventory, and the amount of fuel consumed by this fleet is astounding. The division can consume 100,000 gallons a day. Consequently, this fuel lift is of extreme importance. A single company of 16 CH-47A helicopters can carry 160,000 to 240,000 pounds of critical fuel in a single lift permitting armed helicopters to refuel and remain in the battle area over extended periods. A special yoke enables several of these Rolagons to be towed in tandem. The rear loading ramp feature of the CH-47A provides flexibility in the manner of transport. By internally loading trucks, artillery, ammunition, and all important communication equipment, enemy intelligence is kept guessing. This truck will provide local mobility to a unit in a forward area. food, medical supplies, and communication equipment are important elements of battle. During recent months of savage fighting, 
the Chinooks in Vietnam transported over 5,500 tons of supplies and equipment in the Anke Pleiku area, supplies and equipment that could not have been moved otherwise because of the lack of existing road nets. Salvage of expensive equipment and prevention of its falling into enemy hands cannot be overemphasized. Here, a Chinook is evacuating a battle-damaged UH-1 Huey helicopter. Note that no components have been removed from the Huey. This capability shortens the exposure time of recovery personnel. It also ensures that millions of dollars worth of critically needed aircraft will be retained in inventory. 51 downed helicopters recovered in a 45-day period from battle areas in the Anke Pleiku area alone. You've seen the Chinooks at work and the conditions under which they operate. To keep them on the job, Routine inspections and required maintenance must be accomplished daily. There are no hangars in the highlands of Vietnam, no enclosures in which this work can be done. This rugged aircraft was designed and manufactured to be maintained in the field. Integral work platforms, a portable and attachable hoist, and easy access to all components are all factors of this design. When the opportunity presents itself, the American soldier relaxes with his young Vietnamese friends, never far from his helicopter, or haggles over the price of bananas and soda pop with a native vendor. The Boeing Company is dedicated to providing our soldiers with the best helicopters that can be produced, accelerating its production to meet the demands of our forces in Vietnam. As a result of the Chinook's performance in Vietnam, combat commanders have said, send us more. Soon, Boeing's expanded production will make it possible for the operations of the 1st Cavalry Air Mobile Division to be extended to all U.S. Army forces in Vietnam and to wherever this capability is needed in the world in defense of man's freedom.